Okay. Very much okay. so. So break this down for me. So is it the when when uh people are being ostracized and not being accepted, is that the reason for the the suicide rates and and, and, and things of that nature? Is it strictly from that? Like what break the, can can somebody help me break this down a little bit? So if it was because what I'm thinking is it could be because of that, because, you know, you feel unwanted. But also, is there some mental disorder or affliction there that causes these type of things to happen? Mm. I think usually it's driven um, by religion. Suicide? Mm-hmm. Driven by religion? Yeah, the internal struggle. If you were raised under a certain religion that told you being homosexual is um, a sin, you'll go to hell, you're going to be damned to hell for eternal um, life, I guess, mm -hmm. then some people might not be able to accept that feeling. Like I said, feeling is not a choice. So you can tell God, your God, whoever, no, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. But if you truly feel it and then you also believe God knows your heart, then that's scary, right? Because you have nowhere to run. Um but suicide is a sin too that you can't be forgiven for. So yeah. if they grew up in that construct, they should also know that. So then they between the rock and the hard place. So why are they still committing suicide? So if we're gonna use religion, it might contradict itself considering suicide is also a sin. Yeah, but those people tend to also grow up in communities that are a part of that religion as well. So like to your point, being ostracized, um, being um ashamed. Shame can cause people to do a lot of things, including um, suicide. But like, let's also not act like just because we acknowledge if you're if you believe that you know a sin or suicide is a sin, these are not the same people that are pastors sleeping with the congregation. These are not the same people that are not following the Bible to a T, right? So we can look at a sin being a sin. That's awesome, but it's not going to absolve the person who's having that struggle. If, if their family and their first support is all about church, you're isolated. The, the, the signs of suicide or the things that preempt suicide are isolation, depression, anxiety. I feel like I cannot go on. I can't do anything. I have nobody. And so it's not necessarily, I wouldn't say it's, it's religion or it's church but it's the isolation and the persecution that's associated or assigned to those things that mm -hmm. then causes the person to feel like I have nothing left. Okay. So I feel like how I feel that you're not born gay, right? And I said that there's an external something that happens, right? So do you hear people say, I, had, I didn't have any trauma. I wasn't molested by anybody. Nothing horrible happened to me. But then I, I almost want to bet that if you really looked into their life from childhood, they may have experience some form of rejection. There's something that I feel that people who are homosexual experience um, before their psyche could fully develop that put them in a broken place. And I feel like it's in that brokenness that, um, you know, if you're already dealing with somebody who's broken and then they, they don't fully know who they are. You know what I mean? Like be able to understand who they are. So like if you say, OK, I'm gay, you know this, you stand on it, you walk in it, you live in it. That is your truth. That's one thing. But if you're kind of in that weird space, I think you're easily broken on top of that. Yeah, you're like the prototype for suicide. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I think I think that rejection from the people that love you can hurt you in, in ways that you would never understand. So all praises that I never had to experience that because I could only imagine. Um, if you have a belief system, uh, especially if it comes to the Bible, I think you need to re-understand what it means to love your neighbor and rebuke your neighbor, but hold them close, right? Because if people are doing wrong, it's okay. Maybe you can assist them, you can help them, but you hold them close, you don't cast them away. Otherwise, they'll continue to go down that perpetual hole that you deem them in. Come so, on, him. Come on, him. <laughs> you gotta hit that DJ Hip the Stampede. Yeah, man. Hey, man, I love y'all, man. I think y'all some of the smartest people I know, man. Uh, you too, Sean. So appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and we out.